as Helene moved through, an Arizona man found himself caught in the middle of the storm. He moved from Bisbee to Burnsville, North Carolina, a few years ago, one of the remote mountain towns outside of Asheville. He tells me he watched the devastation unfold right in front of his eyes. It really is, a, it looks like a bomb dropped here when you get down towards the river and houses and land are decimated and gone. Dagan Bartholomew watched as the Cane River flooded and took his neighbor's house along with it. He and a few other neighbors were able to pull the homeowner to safety before the river took him too. Or meanwhile, above our heads, the telephone wire, the telephone pole and the wires are breaking and falling down. And we finally get him to a spot and my landmates show up with a four wheeler and we winch a rope around and we shimmy him down. And the moment we get his feet on the ground, you just see his house break off. Thank God you're not where you just were, dude. Terrifying, adrenaline inducing moments as the river just kept swelling. I was just sitting right on the river watching, I mean, three a thousand gallon propane tanks go down the river, houses, cars, full trees being ripped out of the ground and sloshed down. I mean, it was, un yeah, it was like an action movie, except it was really happening right in front of my eyes. Bartholomew says there is no cell service in Burnsville, so even doing this interview took some planning. Normally there isn't even really service out here. We all depended on Wi-Fi to make any type of call or text. So we were really in the dark up until two days ago when they gave this to us and able to connect with anyone. I didn't get a hold of family until yesterday, so it's, it's been a real struggle. Yancey County is dealing with what residents call complete devastation, but the community outpouring of help from other North Carolinians and even the surrounding states has been the shining light. Not only just giving supplies, from, you know, from locally to people in the surrounding southeast, but uh, people coming down with bulldozers before the state ever even got here and cutting roads so that people could get out of their hollers and their houses. And I mean, not just tiny little driveways, I'm talking full scale roads. Unfortunately, the problems have really only just begun. Now the frustrations are going to be, you know, weeks to months yes, of no work and uh, and bills coming in and, and people living paycheck to paycheck out here. And President Biden is asking lawmakers to replenish some disaster relief programs before they run out of money. In a letter sent late last night, the president said FEMA and the Department of Defense may need more funding for the future, but they do have enough right now for Helene recovery. He shared concerns about the Small Business Administration's disaster loan program. Biden says it'll run out of funding before Congress comes back from recess.